Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to my brothers and sisters in Islam. Assalamu to everyone else. This is Ali. So, I am responding to a video by Jay Curious where he argues that because there seems to be inconsistent revelation, that God must have not given us one revelation to follow or that God is incapable of giving us one revelation to follow. Therefore, it is unreasonable to believe he exists or it is not the case that he exists. I don't know which one he was actually arguing for, so I just picked both of them. I will offer two basic refutations of this argument and add in a particular reason uh, for the appearance of inconsistent revelation since his objection was of a particular nature. Refutation 1. Based on Jay Curious's reasoning, we should also not believe or consider non-existent things such as morality, politics, government, and economics because there are, uh, is an inconsistency of views on these issues. While J. Curious may argue that there is a difference here between differing views and God's inability to give us one revelation, the fact is uh, that he is forgetting the human factor involved in the reception of this revelation. Okay. This leads to refutation number two. Human beings uh, corrupt information based on their own ignorance or free will. Hence, there is always the possibility of multiple interpretations which destroy the entirety of a message, thus leading to falsehoods. I won't get any more in-depth with these refutations because, in actuality, they pertain more to the problem of evil and why God allows certain things to be. On a side note, the problem of non-belief is also associated with the problem of evil. Hence, when I create a video on the problem of evil, I will deal with these two objections in more detail. As for my particular answer, if you are curious to know, Islam teaches that there has always been one revelation, but human beings over time have corrupted it. The final revelation, however, which is the Qur'an, has not been corrupted and remains the same till this day. The reason for God finally making a revelation incorruptible is because human knowledge and progress works in steps. It was a way to guide humanity to the fullness of truth in the end by seeing their past mistakes. But that's all I want to say about that part. I will address yours and everyone else's primary concerns in a future video on the problem of evil. Thanks for watching and take care.